I'm going to teach you three simple steps on how to develop effective time management skills. Thank you so much for joining me, lovelies. So why is it so difficult for you to have better time management? I mean, like, it's just, you have a time, you get it done, right? Well, it might be difficult because you don't know how to start. You don't know where to start. I mean, growing up, teachers didn't teach me how to get organized or have better time management. They just expected it. So how can you get better with time management if you don't even know how to start? With a few simple steps, you can have better time management skills. Step, step number one. First step is create SMART goals. Gosh, it is so important. Well, what is SMART goals? SMART goals is actually an acronym. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time Bound, or Timely. <clears throat> Creating SMART goals is crucial because how can you succeed if you don't create goals, sis? Or sir, or guys. How can you succeed? You can't. You have to create goals. These are a few questions that you need to ask yourself. These are some of the questions that I also had to ask myself when I was trying to figure out my goals. First, what do I want to accomplish? Right? What do you want to accomplish? Why is this goal so important to you? Like, what is your why? ET say, what is your why? You know, what is going to help you succeed? What is going to help you accomplish that goal? The next thing you get to ask yourself is, who is involved? Right? Is it a personal goal, relationship goal, educational goal? Like, which one? Other thing that you need is, where is this goal located? You know, like, where are you going to be? Last, which resources or limits are involved for you to accomplish this goal? You know, sometimes you need to know your limitations. So that way, you know how to move forward. So these are some of the questions you need to ask yourself, my lovely. So, make sure your goals are specific enough specific enough to help you get on the right track it doesn't need to be perfect just need to be specific enough to help you get there let me know in the comment section below the next part of smart goal is your goal needs to be measurable okay well, so you can track your progress to help you stay motivated like for example my goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. I know that I can measure this specific goal. So for example, I'm not saying my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers in a four month period. You know what I mean? Like that's just, that's not, that's not measurable. So you wanna be realistic enough for you to accomplish this specific goal that you have. The next letter is achievable. Make sure that you can actually achieve this goal. My goal is to reach a million individuals. So I want to start with first a thousand. So I'm bringing this goal down so I can actually accomplish it. Set baby steps to help you get there because you want to win. So remember that. I'm smart is relevant. How relevant is this goal? Set something that you can that you know that you really want to do. And that's gonna force you to do the work. Just match your effort and your needs. This goes back to my previous um, tip, which about knowing your limitations. Yes, it's important to know like your strengths and weaknesses, which is knowing your limitations. But keep in mind that just because you know your limitations doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to achieve it anyways. All it does is provide you with clarity and focus on what to start with first. That can give you a sense of, okay, I don't know how to do this yet, but I can start with baby steps to help me accomplish this bigger goal or the next part of smart goals is timely right so how much time do i have to accomplish this goal going back to my previous example i mentioned that i wanted to reach at least 1000 subscribers by the end of 2020 right so i know that i have four months to reach this goal so i know what i have to do to set my pace properly for me to get to that goal you want to make sure that your goal is manageable right so what are you gonna do four months four months from now? What am I gonna do six weeks from now? All right? Let me know what your goals are that you wanna reach by the end of twelve. So when you create smart goals, right? You're creating a clear, attainable, and meaningful goals. You develop the motivation and the action plan that you need to actually achieve your goals, right? So don't just create goals just to do them. 
actually shift your mindset so that you know like okay i'm going to accomplish and i'm going to win because you will one from determining your priorities eliminate the tasks that you don't need to do right the second start with the major stuff that you need to do that is why all the successful people when they're talking whenever they start their day they start with the major major important things to do that is what's going to help you get your goals done that is what's going to help you keep on your track because if you're waiting until 10 p.m to do something and you're tired you had a long day you have friends family whatever you're not going to get that goal done and that's just going to push you back to where you want to accomplish so remember that right eliminate the tasks that you don't need once that is done now you can switch your focus and work with the time and the resources that you have available to you right so audit yourself okay take an objective look at how you're spending your time so my next major tip for you guys is to get focus slash get organized right you need to focus otherwise you won't be able to achieve all your goals how to get focused set one task do one task at a time don't try to multitask if you can't <laughs> don't try to multitask first get one task done then the next task then the following task and that's how you'll be able to accomplish that major goal that you want by taking baby steps so what is the key point when it comes to focus? Well, focus is made of two management skills, right? The ability to make sure that you get the most important tasks done and the ability to block everything else that doesn't matter, right? That doesn't matter. Netflix doesn't matter right now, okay? Get focused, my love, so you can achieve your goals and that way you can reach your full potential. So let's recap. So what were the three simple steps that we learned in this video? The first one was to set SMART goals. We heard that? Set SMART goals. The second step that we learned was to determine your priority. Priorities, accomplishments. Priorities, accomplishment. They go hand in hand. The last thing that we discussed was to how to get focused, right? You need to get focused, aka organized, aka whatever you want to call it. Just get focused so that you can reach your full potential. Hey guys all right welcome back so thank you thank you thank you to everyone who participated in this lovely survey and i can't wait to see who won let's just get right to it so in this little bell we have the winner all right so you're gonna actually get an e gift card which is a digital gift card for 25 dollars so let's see who won can i have a drum roll please We have a winner! Ah, it's Mimi! Congratulations, Mimi! So I'll be sure to send out the e gift card either today or tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down. I appreciate you guys so so much. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you the next Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Bye, darlings. Congratulations, Mimi. All right, so. Ah, awesome, awesome work. Thank All right, you guys, sorry about the last part. I'm still learning how to edit. Um, <laughs> let me 